Good morning, good day, good afternoon. My name is Alexander Morose and I'm going to be your tutor during this video course. Today we're going to talk about XML files with MS XML DLL Guide 101. So basically it's going to be your guide, your basic video tutorial that I'm going to go with you through um, msxml.dll library that provided by Microsoft for free and I will show you how to work with XML documents or data, how to read them or open them, how to create them from scratch, how to edit XML documents or data such as uh, edit tags or nodes as well as delete nodes or tags as well as uh, edit its values so we'll be covering pretty much the basics uh, to get you going and build a pretty nice project that will be open and manipulate with XML uh, data or XML files. It's going to be compatible with Visual Basic 6, C++, C Sharp, Visual Basic.net and other Windows programming languages that is capable of opening and working with DLL and uh, capable of programming under the Windows uh, operating systems such as Windows XP, Windows Vista and Windows 7. As well as as I believe this video tutorial will work for Windows 8 uh, with your uh, programming language but I'm not sure about that. Okay and this tutorial is provided by Morose Academy and Alexander Morose Researches and Morris Academy is a great source where you can learn IT, graphic design, web developing materials and photography. I'm going to be the main uh, to instructor over that uh, resource and um, basically uh, you can find it over the YouTube and just type youtube.com slash Morose Academy as again it's a great resource go ahead and subscribe uh, it will worth it uh, during making this video uh, I used the Morose Video Capture the software that was developed by me to capture the screen as you can see right now and I used the PowerPoint for animation as you can see this nice uh, uh, tight animation I use the PowerPoint for that as well as I use the Visual Basic as my programming language just because it's easy syntax to understand for any programmer as well as beginner and professional it's easy to understand the idea and then implement the idea in your language if you're not going to use Visual Basic 6 as well I use Windows 7 64-bit but as again uh, this idea will work with Windows XP 32-bit 64-bit Windows Vista 32-bit 64-bit and Windows 7 32-bit 64-bit as well as it might work with Windows 8 but I'm not sure about Windows 8 and also I use the msxml 6.dll library that reference you need uh, to uh, to, to work with this uh, project, with this tutorial. Um, to basically to understand this idea you will be needing this DLL and you can uh, Google uh, and download from Microsoft uh, msxml6 SDK or .dll, it's free but as we know sometimes Microsoft sh shutting down their libraries and turning them down so I decided to go ahead and I'm going to provide you a mirror so you can download it and use it in your project as well if you're not going to find the mirror or if you're watching this video tutorial not over the YouTube go ahead and uh, then Google it for msxml 6.dll and also I spent a lot of hours of researches and patience so guys if you can just go ahead and donate me one dollar or five dollars over the PayPal I will go ahead and provide my PayPal account down below if you're watching this video tutorial over the YouTube anything will help and will be for a good cause and for more video tutorials thank you so much for that well you will need as again any Windows programming language such as Visual Basic 6, C Sharp, 
Visual Basic .NET, C++, or as again, uh, Real Basic, Dark Basic, Delphi, whatever language can work with Windows operating system, capable uh, to uh, compile for Windows operating system and to open the uh, DLLs. And you will be needing MS XML 6. DLL. All right, it's time to learn. Let's go ahead and get started. And I will see you in a few seconds. Please go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Uh, it will be long tutorial. It will be a split into multiple parts. So if you're watching this video tutorial on YouTube, probably it's going to be multiple parts. Please be patient for this because not everybody is professional. Sometimes it's going to be a, a beginners watching this tutorial, and I'm going to dedicate this tutorial for the beginners, as, which is not going to hurt you as well as you're a professional. You can always rewind the videos and skip the parts that you already know. Thank you so much, and I will see you in a few seconds.